with the with the Mavericks being in the position that they're in, let's say that they go on, they, they close out this series in the Western Conference Finals, go on to beat most likely the Celtics out east, and Luka gets to hoist the Larry O'Brien trophy. What does that mean for Luka's career? Six years, five first-team All-NBAs. He'd have a ring, very possibly a finals MVP on top of that. What does that mean for Luka Doncic's legacy? Man, that would be, bro, that would be an insane start to a career. You telling me you got five first team All NBAs? He has more than Steph. He yeah, has more than bro. He has more than plenty of people. He's on track to have more than a lot of great. He, great he good for about five more. <laughs> like, at least, at least he's bro. He's getting it every single year. There's no world where he doesn't get it unless he's injured. Right. Um. So yeah, this the the accolades will be there. Eventually, you are you know he's gonna win the MVP at least one, so that's gonna be there. Probably if they win a chip, he's probably the leading candidate to win MVP going into next year because I think mm-hmm. Jokic is gonna have voter fatigue, so he's not. He, I don't think Jokic Jokic got average hundred. He's not gonna win MVP just off of just the way the media is, but um, he's gonna win MVP eventually. He's gonna have the stats of like his stats are gonna be insane. Like his averages, his points, assists, his re- everything is gonna be insane from that aspect of everything. He has the moments that he has though, the insane games this he has what a 70 point game. He has a um what was the game where he had a triple double? Didn't does he have like a 60 point triple double or something like mm-hmm. that? Like he bro the, the moments are gonna be insane. And to win a ring on top of all that being so young would just it would put him on track to like really crack that like it's hard to say now it's hard to Santos say Santo said top 20 at least with a ring right now yeah i mean yeah like I, we, i'd you, say you, so. those combos are 100% fair at that point cuz i'd you, say you, so yeah but if we're you, just talking about on what the trajectory that like i think yeah he would be a top 20 player but where he's headed Bro, he could scratch top 10. This is, I'm talking obviously projecting, right? But still, like, you're on track to be in that conversation at the bare minimum just yeah. because your start of your career was so great. Mm-hmm. So, from that aspect, a, a ring would do so much for his legacy just from that standpoint. Look. I think it was it might have been Gilbert on, on his on his podcast said that right now Luca could retire. He's gonna be a first ballot Hall of Famer. And that is yeah. facts. And we're talking adding a ring and a finals MVP to that. And let me just double check. Luca is only 26, right? Bro, that's why I said the chip, 25. The he just turned 25 this year. That's why I said the trajectory. That's the biggest thing. Because if you're winning it now, we literally just said normally you break out when you win a ring at what 27, 27 some people 28. Yep. You win it at 25 with all your other accolades, with all your stats, like mm-hmm. easily first battle hall of famer, but you're gonna be on pace to be in that conversation of that top 10, like scratching that top 10. But the ceiling through the roof, absolutely through the roof. I'm a t- I'll take it a different, and this is you know coming from me. This this means a lot. I will take it a whole different. Oh way. no, you about to say what I think you about to say. He won a ring this year, not with the jersey in the back. Yeah, he he all path to being the best Maverick of all time. Ah, uh, coming from you, that's that's is dead. That's real. That's real. That's real. Right. With the jersey in the you with, see you, the jersey y'all, in y'all the back. See, oh, wrong finger. Y'all see the <laughs> y'all see the dirt jersey right here. Y'all see the dirt jersey right there. He would cement himself. I think I think genuinely it's fair to say from a talent perspective, he got he got dirt beat. He got dirt beat. Mm-hmm. Um Dirk got that, I, that that run saved him. That run that, was crazy. That run is elite. <laughs> and it's crazy because when you think about it in the full context of it, like I think Dirk's even talked about it that when him going in 06 and losing to D Wade and Shaq on Miami that year, he doesn't think he wins 2011 if that doesn't happen. And so it's like Luca's already levels. like Luca's already got. Then we made it to the Western Conference Finals. We lost to Steph and them. Like they've been there. They had the defeat. He's using that to feel. You see it now, bro. Luca broke up an alley oop in Game One at my jaw drops. Oh my gosh, that's a crazy, bro. If Derrick Jones Jr. did that, like, bro, he's locked in. Luca at the rim like this, bro. Did you? He see the wants possession? it, bro. Did you see the possession? I think it was on Mike Conley. 
and it doesn't get talked about just because it was just like a random possession, but it caught my eye so much that I was like, yo, it like he was sliding his yes. feet, bro. Like he was no moving, step back. No, I'm here. Like I'm, he was really sliding his feet. I'm like, is that like is that you Luca? Can, bro, he wants you can really tell just in the little things that he's done this entire playoff run, but even in just this series, particularly. You mentioned it earlier, bro. Is playing messed up knee, messed up shoulder, getting hit in the face. He, he's laboring every time play stops. But as soon as it whistle blows, he's 100% full go. He, you can tell he really, really wants to be able to say that he's an NBA champion. Um, and I, I think we also got to touch on the fact that if the Mavericks win this year, that would be the second ring for Kyrie. I think what that really does for him is – the little portion of NBA Twitter that still be like, oh, Kyrie only got a ring because of LeBron. Obviously, that has to shut up too. Because even as a LeBron fan, somebody that genuinely thinks LeBron is the best basketball player ever, LeBron does not win that ring without Kyrie. Like, Kyrie was so, bro, have y'all not seen the graphic? 41 points, 41 points. They both had to snap to win that game and win that series. Mm -hmm. Like, and for Kyrie also to be another guy who I can see, like you just mentioned with Luka, locked in defensively, sliding his feet, active hands, communicating. You can even see him just being that, that leadership presence on the bench for them, even on the court. at During timeouts, he's dapping guys up, high fives, encouraging guys. He's in people's ear. Like He's the only guy on this roster, if I'm not mistaken, that is a champion, mm -hmm. um, and especially has been a champion – at that level to be like one of the guys on a championship team. So for him to potentially go out, get a second ring without LeBron, I think does a lot for his legacy in the, for the guys who really care that much about had to be with LeBron, got carried by LeBron. I think that does a ton for him there. Uh, I think it also definitely solidifies Jason Kidd's spot as a coach oh, yeah. because he's been mm -hmm. super, super shaky. And I think rightfully so, but defensively he's put on a phenomenal coaching um, you know, clinic throughout this entire playoffs. He has he has this entire team playing defense on another level. Um, so I think that would do a ton for him. Santos just said another thing I want to get your your thoughts on. If Luca wins a ring this year, he's gonna pass KD. I don't know if I go that far. KD two finals MVP, KD. Santos said it on me. I, ain't, I didn't say nothing. I didn't even speak yet. I, we, I'm, I'm asking you your thoughts. I didn't even speak <laughs> yet. I didn't say nothing. But nah, I mean, uh, what was the question? <laughs> nah, you I'm, you, I'm you, you see it on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, nah, I, I don't. I don't know if he wins a ring. <clears throat> nah, I I can't. I can't go that far yet. I can't. I I can't just because. Granted, like. We talked about, listen, the ring is a ring, blah, blah, blah. Right. But everyone knows those two rings that Katie got don't hold the same weight. It's really as... the it's the the age gap. Right. Like, Projection-wise. Yeah, for sure. Like, he doesn't pass him the... now. Right. But you see the path is there. But, like, you can't be like, bro. Right now, today, you could really make the argument that Kevin Durant is one of the, like, actually, you can make the argument he's the best scorer we've ever seen. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So it's like Katie got Katie got stuff that Luca just isn't. He don't even got access to right now. Yeah, exactly. Because he's only yeah. twenty five, so it's hard to make that that type of jump right now. Is it like I, but, know, uh, I was? I've been wondering for the longest what who Santos is a fan of. Now it makes <laughs> sense. They say a Warriors fans the rings <laughs> mean nothing. That that's the thing because like the the ring like strictly ring wise like give me the Lucas ring over. Yeah, there's a lot of players whose one ring holds more weight than KD's two rings, 100%. which is tough for KD. I'm just saying right. it's just tough for him. But it's like KD still has an MVP. Like it's like I said, it's, he has access to stuff that Luca doesn't. I mean MVP mm -hmm. Luca. Like I said, he could have had one by now, but I've obviously we're for arguably should have, yeah, exactly. So I just think right now it's a little bit tough. He, but he's definitely in that combo. Then as he gets in, the, obviously he's gonna win MVP, more accolades, more over, over time. He's definitely gonna surpass him, I think. But he'll hundred percent be on pace to on to to surpass him for sure. So yeah, it's just a like I said, he's gonna be in some interesting conversations. Um, but it's funny, man, because obviously. 
Look, we talked. Look, we talked about it the past couple of years, right? I feel like I feel like we've we've done this before. I, that not just us, too. I'm just saying in general media, right? Because mm-hmm. Giannis wins a ring, then Giannis has two MVPs, a depoy ring. He's young. We're like Giannis is on track to scratch the top ten. Could be this, could be that. Yeah. Then it's like, oh, Jokic won a ring. He got what two MV? Well, at the time, two MVPs. He's what you got one a ring, like he's on track to do now. If you, Luca wins ring, I feel like we're doing the same thing over again, which is good for just overall basketball discourse and parody. But it's just funny how like we got like legitimately three guys to where each ring would just mean so much in that aspect. Um that just I it, bro, this is conversation of who bro. If love you Luca wins a ring, he could say he's the best player in the world. You know what I mean? When Giannis won his ring, he was the best player in the world. When Jokic mm-hmm. won his ring, he was the best player in the world. Luka wins his ring, he could say, I'm the best player in the world. He so it's, it's just a lot of parody. You know what I mean? I guess that's kind of the main thing I was getting at. It's just a lot of parody in the NBA, especially at that tippity top right now. I love it. I love the parody in the NBA. Um, the last thing I do want to say about the Mavericks, uh, they want a ring. Hey, man, Dante Exum was a top five pick, had to lead the NBA, go play in Australia, came back, and, and he still continually gets quality minutes here for his Mavericks team, really reinvented himself That's as true. a player. Uh, so that would be, be a shout out to him as well. Grant Williams is going to be pissed. 100%. 100%. <laughs> He's going to be mad. Bro, they traded you because you literally, quote, yap too much, bro. And they traded you, bro. And they went on to win a ring because of it, bro. If you just stopped talking, you could have had a ring. If Luca makes it to the finals, who have a Western Conference MVP, I forgot AD that has no. I forgot that was even a thing. Hey. That's funny. He's not wrong. Santos ain't lying, though, bro. He's, He's not, not wrong. They, they it wasn't giving them out back then, bro. They don't That's got true. none. Ain't no Western Conference Finals MVPs and KD for, trophy case, bro. I, for, I forgot that was a thing, bro. <laughs> I forgot they even did that. Yeah.